Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Gary's Mod, and today we're going to be in this beautiful city, and you know what? What's the first thing you have to do when you're in a beautiful city? <laughs> well, that's easy. Just get your jar of mysterious yellow liquid. Now, what does this yellow liquid do? Some of you avid TF2 fans out there already know what this is. It's piss. It's, it's sniper piss. Now, what can we do with someone's urine? Well, we could drink it. And that'd be gross as hell, and I'd probably get my channel demonetized. Or even better, you can throw it at someone! Now when you cover them with this fluid that you piss out, um, they're gonna be covered in this yellow kind of gradient. Check this out. He's completely covered in piss. <laughs> You're covered in piss. Alright, so when this happens, I mean, you're gonna notice that they do keep that for a little while. Now, this would be a very... Very boring mod showcase if all we did was demonstrate that. Oh, yes. Piss is yellow. Piss turns you yellow when it touches you. Obviously, though, there's a lot more that goes into this. For one, check this out. Here's Odessa. About four hits. Let's try Mr. Piss Covered Odessa. Interesting. For some reason, Odessa Covered in Urine is weaker, and that's exactly what the, uh, Jurati? Jurati? I really don't even want to start this right now. So in TF2, when you do splash someone with the Jurati, uh, pretty much what it does is each basic attack causes mini crits. So I can see where that extended damage comes from. And it really does go out. In fact, right now I believe I have it set to some crazy number. Yeah, like, <laughs> look at all those zeros. I was just testing it out to see what it did. But yeah, this is the bonus damage you get. And then of course you can also adjust the duration, so the piss stays on him longer. And even the range of the explosion. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Alright, let's go ahead and go back here. Let's see how far this reaches now. Oh wow. All the way to this Odessa. That's pretty impressive. And then of course you can also adjust the throwing strength. So if you wanna just freaking yeet this thing, man. And then you can of course increase the amount of jars you have, which... Doesn't matter because, well, we have infinite. Alright, so all this stuff is good and dandy. There we go, that's the throwing strength. So sometimes you do need to reset to have some of the settings take place. The creator does mention that in the description of the mod. That's right, I read it for once. So this would be cool, of course, but... I mean, really? Like a 5-6 minute video for this? Well, then it got me thinking. What if we could then take this and kill NPCs that were way stronger than Odessa, which is not asking much. Well, first I think we need to increase this all the way. So let's go to 100, and let's see what we can do. So, so immediately I'm gonna get rid of the Odessas here, and let's go ahead and spawn, well, a stronger NPC than Odessa. Let's go with the Ploosh. The Ploosh has 4,000 health, not too bad. Now what if we were to splash the Ploosh with, well, piss. You're gonna notice that's doing a lot of damage, man. And this is really just the beginning. What if we go up to even just 1,000? Now, check this out. We are one-hitting the plush like it's nothing. Oh yeah, we do gotta cover him in piss first. I keep forgetting. There we go. Okay, two-shotting. We're two-shotting the plush now. That's pretty incredible with the crowbar. Now, some of you might be wondering, all right, so you have piss. Well, how to get rid of it? And thankfully, we do have a river here. So if you do splash yourself with piss, which is bound to happen, you get this crazy looking effect on your screen. Go ahead and jump in a body of water and the piss will wash off. And of course, this does also work with NPCs. Just put him in the water and he's good to go. Now in TF2, you can use it to extinguish things. Is that true? Can we extinguish him? Well, now I'm kind of wondering, did the piss just make the fire stronger? We're asking a lot of questions in today's video. This is how such a small mod can become such a crazy interesting video because now I think that is what's happening. Because check this out. We're going to set him on fire. Look at his health. Pretty slow, right? We splash him with piss and now the fire does more damage because it amplifies the damage. So I guess that answers our question. No, it does not extinguish, sadly. All right, we're going right to the Incredible Hulk. Definitely going to be a tough one. Let's actually make this 10,000. 
All right. I can't tell if I put 100 or 10,000. Doesn't matter. We're going to go with it. Now when we throw this on Hulk, let's go ahead and just whack him once with the crowbar. And just like that, he is World Breaker. So, <laughs> pretty incredible stuff. Now, he is still covered in that piss, but you're gonna notice, like, we're still dealing with the Incredible Hulk here. Dude's resistance is absolutely mad. But what if we do light him on fire? Oh, we can't. Oh. All right, what if we start with the World Breaker Hulk? Because he doesn't start out super strong. As you guys know, he kind of gets stronger with the more damage he takes. Let's go ahead and try this out. And it's it's pretty much like we didn't even use it. So let's go ahead. I really want to use this to the max. I'm just going to put as many zeros as this game lets me. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot of nines. All right, no. We are good to go. Um, I'm kind of afraid to shoot this now. Here goes nothing. All right, got to lower that radius. It just doesn't matter. The Incredible Hulk is so bulky. I think he's just completely ignoring the effects of this. So this should pretty much go without saying that yes, this does work on players and it does pretty much the thing you'd expect. Let's go and try another strong NPC. I did unfortunately try things like Minge God. It honestly doesn't do any. Wait, wait, where'd my weapon go? Minge God? Did he take my piss away? All right, I can't throw this anymore. What happened? But what about the God of War Ares? I mean, Dude's got a lot more health than just your standard Incredible Hulk and the plush. Let's go ahead and chuck this. Not that far. There we go. Will the crowbar take out 23,000 health? Oh yeah, easy. Did I say 20,000? I meant 236,000. That is not a small feat. That is a lot of health. Now sadly, this does not work on NPCs that are invincible by default. Kind of like I mentioned earlier with Minge God, but also with Jeff here. Sadly, Jeff, he doesn't really care if he's got piss, puke, or your guts all over him. He is not going to die. But what about the Trevor Henderson creatures? Yes, I'm bringing this back, only because them and the troll NPCs were so good at demonstrating health values, you know, before NPCs got all invincible and everything. So, with all this health, is this piss gonna do it? Oh my god, he's all yellow now. <laughs> that is so funny. I, didn't, I did not think that was gonna work. And one hit did it. One crowbar swing, you guys saw it. So the next time you think about pissing behind that bush, maybe think about pissing on your friends first. I mean, if you ever wanted to kill them in one hit, Try pissing on them. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe. Links will be in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, farewell.